This week I pulled out this old normal looking box out of the closet, but we all know what's inside. Hot Wheels, of course. Looks to be an action packed and some main lines. Let's dig in. First up we have the 1996 action Pack Sojourner Mars Rover. I seem to have a few of these in my collection. The Mars Pathfinder mission was an important first step in rovers for NASA. The mission which launched on December 4th, 1996 and landed on July 4th, 1997 included the first successful rover on Mars, which was delivered to the surface by the Pathfinder lander. This action pack displays the lander, the rover, and the base capsule. Here we have the 1996 Aero Flash. This is the white version with yellow, green, and blue flames. It has a bright neon orange base and seven spoke wheels. Next up we have the 1965 Impala. This was released in the year 2000. It is candy apple green with the hotwheels.com logo on the side of it. Those yellow windows are a nice touch. This was a lowrider, so it was a must have for my collection. Here we have the 2002 Scorchin Scooter. This model is a gold model with some black flames on it. And the skull, wow, I like that gold. It's very shiny. Anyways, this is a Scorchin Scooter. Uh, race and win online. Uh, there's a code actually behind my car and you could enter it in online to win something. Next we have the 1997 Dealer's Choice Baja Bug. This is the metallic red one with the split window, the sunroof, and it is the Ace of Spades. Great looking casting. I really like the Baja Bug. Here we have a 1997 No Fear race car. This was a really cool car when I found it. It is actually a new model, so this was a main line. It has No Fear on the wing and on the side. Those nice seven spoke race wheels, great casting. Here we have a 1996 Corvette Stingray 3. Uh, for a Corvette, this is not really what I expected. This looks like a car that Saturn would make if they were to make a sports car. Not my favorite casting by any means. Next up we have the 1999 first edition 38 Phantom Corsair. This one has white wall tires on it. It's a pretty cool looking model and it has a split window in the front. I collected all of the 1999 first edition so we should be coming across more of these in our journey. Here we have the 3 window 34. This one was released in 1998. It is silver with flames on it. This car really reminds me of classic American hot rod uh, with that chrome grille and just the way it's painted. I really like this casting. Next up we have the 1995 Street Eater Series Silhouette 2. This one has a bright orange neon windshield and a bat on the front. It also has some drips coming off the back, which is a nice touch. And I believe that's the mouth of something on the side of it. I don't know what. Anyways, really cool casting at the time. Next up, we have the 1998 first edition go-kart. This one was a really cool first edition when it came out in 1998. The first one that I found, someone had taken a hole punch and actually punched a hole in the back of the card so that it wasn't worth anything. And when I found this one, I opened that one. So I should have a loose one laying around here somewhere. Here's the 1996 Grizzler. This is an interesting looking card. They did make one with spots, but this is some sort of gargoyle beast car. Interesting and very unique to say the least. Here we have the 2003 first edition Sand Stinger. This one is a pretty cool looking ATV. From four wheeler to two wheeler, next we have the 2003 Blast Lane. This is the gold model with the Hot Wheels logo on the gas tank and that chopper style front fork. I really like the motorcycles, so this was one for the collection. 
Next up we have the 1997 Techno Bit Series Power Piston. I remember thinking that this car looked fast when I was younger so I opened one up and tested it on the track and it was really slow because of the plastic body. It was very disappointing. Here we have a 1998 Low & Cool Series 59 Caddy. This one is a pinkish reddish color. It is the convertible model with the top down. It's got a pretty cool design on the hood and a nice chrome grille. Next up we have the 1997 First Edition 59 Chevy Impala. This is a pretty cool colored one too. It's between purple and pink. A nice clean white interior with the wire spoked rims. Um, this is at a time when they used to put different sayings on the back of the cards. So, it's pretty cool. This series has an interesting name. This is the 1997 Biff Bam Boom series VW Bug. I really like this casting. It's a small car and it rolls really nice. And the comic book style graphics on the side are killer. This one also has a saying, it says the attack of the giant fly swatter. Cool car in 1997. Next up we have a couple race team series cars. This is the 1997 race team series three Chevy 1500. This is a really cool looking truck built to race. Never opened one up so I don't know how it does on the track. But but I really enjoyed collecting the Hot Wheels that were decked out in logos. Next up we have the Race Team Series 3 Hummer. This one has two huge Hot Wheels logos on the top. It is a flat plastic blue color. Next up we have the 1998 Race Team Series 4 63 Corvette. Now I don't know where the other two went from the other series, but I'm sure they're in a box here somewhere. This is a really classic Corvette. Here we have the Race Team Series 4 Shelby Cobra 427 SC. This has an openable hood. So as you can see there, it's slightly popping open. Doesn't do it too well in the package. Cool casting. I like things with moving parts. Looks like the last race team for this case. This is the 1998 Race Team Series 4 67 Camaro. This is a cool casting. That front hood also opens up, although I can't get it to open up here. There is a number one on the top and a nice Hot Wheels logo on the side. Another car from 1998 is this first edition customized C3500. Uh, this was a cool truck. It's a dually, I believe. Giant truck. You can haul people and things in that thing. Next we have the 1997 Hummer. This is the police vehicle. This also came in a police five pack, which we've seen in a previous episode. We just have a few more cars to go through and then a handful of loose cars that we'll go through real quickly. But here's the 1998 Blue Angels Fat Fender 40. This has real riders on it and it was a special edition. Wow, it's dusty. They did make a Volkswagen bus, but I decided not to get the bus, or I just, I think I only had enough money to get the fat vendor and I couldn't afford the bus. Last but not least, we have the 2002 Panaz LMP1 Roadster 8. This is a super treasure hunt, as you can see. Wow, it's a little bit dusty like everything else. But it has the real riders on there with the white writing on the side that says Treasure Hunt 2002, which really makes it pop. This is not my favorite casting, uh, but it is a super treasure hunt, so I had to get it. Unfortunately, this card was super bent and it was kind of a bummer. Every time I come across it, I debate about opening it up or not, but I still haven't. There are nine loose cars in the bottom of this box. First up is the 1998 Solar Eagle 3. 
This one was a first edition. Uh, and then we have the 1998 Mega Graphics Funny Car. This one opens up, which is a really cool feature. Next we have the 1998 Mega Graphics Funny Car. We've also seen this in package in these episodes. This one also opens up. This is the only car I really want to talk about. This is a Tri-City X8 car. This one was a Raystons serial promotion that was never released. I mean, it was sold in baggies. So the story goes, the red fin and tail and nose deemed unsafe for children due to pointy portions, later sold in baggies only. So it was never released actually in the serial promotion, but was sold. Here we have a Mega Graphics Turbo Flame and then a spy print series. This car is called the Alien. Weird looking car all together. I think this one is actually my brother's vehicle. Then we have the last of the mega graphics. So we have all four of them here. And this one was the Mustang Cobra. Next up is one of my personal favorites. This is the Good Humor ice cream truck. And it's actually opened. It doesn't roll very well though. Let's park it right there. This is the 1982 Hot Wheels front run in Fairmont. This must have been one of my very first cars. I'm sure this took a lot of bass with me and ended up in a lot of puddles. The paint's missing in a lot of places. I'm sure this car went everywhere with me. Lastly is this Porsche bonus car. You can send away for these every year and they would send you a bonus vehicle. That's it for this case. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this one. Hope you guys liked it and peace.